President of the United States. Thank you so much for having us here. It's an incredible pleasure. <laughs> I'd like to introduce you to our team, if I may. On my right, we have the Alpine team. This is Cindy Nelson, Kristen Cooper, Tiara McKinney, our trainer, Topper Hageman, Bob Harkins, Bill Morrall. Mr. President, on this side, we have our Nordic team. This is Bill Coke. This is just wonderful. Thank you so much for having us here. It's, may I say that these young men and women are ambassadors for sports and for this country around the world. We think they're wonderful and we're so proud to be here and be a part of this entire event. Well. We're proud to have you here. Thank you. Thank and you. I know that all these people who are here are some of those who have made this possible, your voluntary contributions and support, and uh, we're proud of you also. That's wonderful. Now, on behalf of the trustees, Doc Stedman, John McMillian, and Tom Weissel, the president of the U.S. Ski Team, and the team, and me, we would like to present you with a sweater of the U.S. Ski Team, and we would like to make you an honorary member of the team. And I don't know how we'll do that, but we're doing it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'm an honorary member. Very proud of you. <laughs> Thank you. Right. And now I'd like to introduce Bill Koch, who has a presentation. To Be being a fervent admirer of the Reagans that I am, it gives me a very special pleasure to make this presentation. And when I was here 15 months ago, uh, I had the honor of being able to have a casual conversation uh, with both the Reagans. And at that time, uh, Nancy had expressed a um, genuine interest in taking up the sport of cross-country skiing. And uh, I told her that I'd be only too honored to be able to ski with her sometime at any time that was most convenient for her. And now I'm here again, and uh, I'd like to, to make it a little easier for her to take me up on my offer <laughs> uh, by supplying her with the ski equipment. And uh, I realize that she's going to be very busy um, over the next five years that she's first lady. <laughs> um, so. So, so if 1989 has to be the date, that's, I can wait. That's fine. <laughs> uh, and I'm kind of embarrassed that we don't have the boots and bindings yet, but we had a little logistical problem. But uh, I've drilled the holes for the bindings already, and uh, they'll be hot on the heels of the skis. I guarantee you that. That really is well, a great thing. I am very pleased to accept these for her. I can tell you that very much. And the truth of the matter is, she, ever since we once were exposed up at uh, Lake Tahoe, she has thought that she, yes, that looked like it would be fun. <laughs> now, I don't know whether I'm going to go along on horseback. Or not. Hey, all right, that's a good idea. <laughs> well, I thank you, and I can't wait to okay. present them. Thank to you very much. Thank you very much. I, uh, I have to tell you that I think that I'll be able to help her with putting those bindings on because this is an awful thing to confess and it makes me, it dates me by about 108 years. In a small town in Illinois where I was growing up and there were a number of hills around, believe it or not, in those days uh, barrel staves were available. And we would get barrel staves and we would cut strips of rubber from inner tubes and uh, tack them on, and we tried to ski downhill on barrel staves. We, I don't remember any of us ever making the bottom of the hill on the barrel staves. 
But we made the bottom of the hill on that part of our <laughs> carcass, which <laughs> seemed to land first. <laughs> well, you're welcome here. Before I even came over here, I knew there were some skiers around today because when I went out, went past the limo out there, there was a Think Snow bumper sticker on it. <laughs> but I've been reading up on all of you, and I noticed it said that being a skier means being away from home for long periods of time. It means traveling at night so you can be at an event the next day. It means long hours. It means competition and frequent disappointment, as well as glorious victory. You know something? You might as well be in politics. <laughs> we, we have a lot in common. And the whole nation, I identify with you and the whole nation identifies with you when you're racing under America's colors. You know, we know you're great, not just because you so often win, but because of the discipline and heart that it takes to do what you do. You know better than anyone there's more to sports than winning medals. It's the personal striving for excellence that spurs each of you on. I'm told that after last season, the United States can claim both the best man and the best woman alpine skier in the world. And we're also pleased to have with us here today the first American ever to win the World Cup in cross-country skiing. But I was thinking in terms of the time that you all commit the glory you experience is a very small part of it. It is often hard and lonely work, and I wanted you to know today that I appreciate the sacrifices you're making, and on behalf of the nation, I wanted to say thank you. You know, in acting among performers, there is a tradition that when you really want to wish someone good luck on a performance, or like on opening night on Broadway, we have a saying that I don't think it's appropriate for a ski team. You say, break a leg. But let me just then say, I won't use the expression, but let me wish you all that it means to a performer. And I haven't said the words. But bless you all. God bless you, and thank you all for being here. Thank <laughs> you. 